Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I've got a new release stamp set from Ellen Hudson where you can make your own favorite movie card. Ellen has three fun new releases, the Mondo Wildflowers and the little critters. I have cards on my blog with both of those, but the stamp set I'm going to show you today is the Binge Watcher, and she's got popcorn and soda and everything, and I love to watch movies, and I thought since tomorrow is May the 4th, which is Star Wars Day, get it? May the 4th be with you? Ha ha ha. Then I would make a Star Wars Binge Watcher card, and when I actually texted this picture to Ellen of the card, she had no idea that I was going to make something like this out of it. So she did not think about making this release on this particular day, on May the 3rd, with May the 4th coming up, but I thought that was funny anyway, so I went ahead and did it. I stamped the lady's face just as if she's sitting on a sofa. And then I put the drink as though she's holding it in her hand. I'll have to draw a little hand in there, but that's super easy. And then I put the popcorn beside her. I was debating whether to make the couch have rounded couch cushions and opted for just a straight line. And here I just put a blob around there so she has a hand holding it. You don't even have to worry about it looking like a hand because it's gonna disappear when everything goes really dark. But I tend to start with something a little bit lighter when I'm going to go for something really blackish. I, I'm never sure exactly how dark I'm going to go, and I can always put more color in. So the second pass, I'm going with W9, because again, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go full black. I'm not a person who tends to use full-on black unless there's a really good reason for it being an actual black object, because most of the time you can see some kind of light. But here what I'm doing is creating a little bit of highlight around the edges of everything because she's sitting in front of the TV set and the TV is casting light on the other side of her. So this is backlit even though her face is the thing that's lit here. And that's where I'm getting, just leaving that little tiny edge of the gray. I am going to change that gray into something else later on, but I wanted to reserve that so that I don't end up coloring over it and having a mess there, but I did decide this warranted the full on black. Those little bunny slippers I stamped there because I thought the bunny slippers were really fun and I've put them behind the sofa as though she's cast them off before she sat down to watch her movie and if they don't work out I can always just color right over top of them. So if you're doing a silhouette card, this is a great time to experiment with what you might want to do with other objects in there and I'm picturing the TV there casting the light it's going underneath the sofa so she's got a sofa that's a little high up off the ground so that there's light that can go back there and create some shadows around the bunny rabbits. I decided to give her blue carpet because I wanted a little color down there and just making it get darker so there's more light toward the TV set and again wasn't sure whether or not I was going to end up keeping these in the long run but I thought I'd you know, color it up anyway. And the little bunny slippers are going to be totally in shadow. So they're not really going to have any color in them. So just threw some gray over them. Now I sketched in with a yellow marker. Don't know why I picked a yellow marker. <laughs> just sketched in a frame for the TV set. Could have just done it with the wall because I realized I needed wall color around there. I, if I just put the black TV against a white background, it wouldn't look like she's really sitting in the dark in front of a movie but when I start putting a lot of color in there, then she's really gonna pop. The contrast of that shadow, that whole silhouette is gonna be really strong. But the green color was too powerful. It was taking too much attention. So I just went over it with a gray. And I used a T, but you can use any of the grays. This one just happened to be the one that was well inked. So there you go. And then I started trying to figure out what was gonna be on the TV. I knew it was gonna be a Star Wars scene, Hadn't decided which one. I was thinking about having, you know, a, an epic battle in there. So I just started putting some blue colors in there for a sky, kind of mushing around a couple different colors, layering them on top of each other. And really, you can go all different kinds of directions with the scene. You can make it something really fuzzy and barely viewable, it, depending on what movie you're talking about there. So make it something really easy. If it's, you know, a Disney movie and it's all about, you know, I don't know, what the, what's the princess, uh, Elsa. 
So if it's a snowy scene, then make it mostly white and, you know, use one of my tutorials that shows snow blowing across the, the screen or something. Um, if you're doing something that has a jungle scene in it, just make lots of green leaves and that sort of thing and make it something that the person receiving the card is going to get it because they love that movie. Or maybe it's a movie you love together with them. So I've got the frame around the TV set now and I'm adding a little bit of color now into her because I'm still trying at the moment that I'm doing this to think through what I'm going to put in the scene. So I'm adding color around those edges. Those edges that I left in light gray are actually going to be a little bit of color now. If I had left them completely white, then this color that I'm adding now would not really be, it wouldn't be appropriate for this. It would be too bright. But when it's layered over that gray, it ends up being kind of a really soft color. So that works out really good for this particular project. So just adding a little bit of colors around those outside edges and then I decided I would add a little bit on the very tippy top of the sofa as well. So here is where I have decided what is going to be in my scene and it's going to be from the original Star Wars, which is the best Star Wars. Don't even get into an argument with me over it because this one is the best. I remember so much going to see this when I was a kid. I had the poster. I was so over the moon about Mark Hamill. I still am. He's an amazing guy. You should see him on Twitter. He's still out there cracking me up. But the Millennium Falcon, there's a couple of scenes in the movie where they jumped into hyperspace and into the, the warp drive. And you get this view looking out the window, the front dashboard of the Millennium Falcon that has these kind of arcs around it. And then it's got a few lines coming from it, but then it has silhouettes. So if you're doing a movie scene, find one that's simple. Like this was a simple one to draw. I needed to draw three circles, a couple of vague silhouette shadows of a couple of people. We got Han Solo sitting there driving. We've got Chewbacca over here on the right, sitting next to him, big guy, square head. And somebody standing there kind of on the left-hand side. Maybe that's the princess or something like that. Maybe that is Mark Hamill over there but they're jumping into hyperspace. So anybody who knows this movie well is gonna recognize the scene, but it's a really simple one to draw. And that's what I encourage you to do if you're gonna to try to make this card, is just do something really simple. So the last step is going to be to really brighten up some of those highlights, just a little tiny bit. Not all of them don't outline everything, but just put a few spots where that light is gonna really be cast brightly on top of them. You know, that popcorn, just a little bit around the edges of her head. I decided to put a little bit right across the very tippy top of the sofa. I stamped the sentiment and heat embossed it on top of all this beautiful coloring. And I did decide to leave those bunnies in there after all. I still don't know if they work, but I'm gonna send my friend the card and a link to the video so she can come and see this for herself and know why I left slippers in there. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you are an aficionado of the original Star Wars and if you're excited about going to see the new one that's going to be coming out. I just saw the trailer. Oh my goodness. Over the moon excited. I'll see you guys in the next video. See more about all this on the blog. Bye-bye.